Hi, I'm Eric Dometto. And I'm a bin fucking weasel. <laughs> I'm a bin weevil. Bin weevil. I'm a fucking bin weevil. It's a bin weevil. <laughs> what is a bin weevil, Mary? You know what? I really don't care. And welcome, welcome to, to Vine Breakers. Breakers. <laughs> Today, we're continuing with the works of Lucio Fulci. Yeah. The man who... Scary movies. The man who brought us um, Zombie 2. Yeah. But also the man who brought us Manhattan Baby. Which is Scary movies. Which is famous for the line, You can take my life with stuffed birds... But you can never take my immortal soul. These are these are horror films for people that like cinematography and uh, script writing. This is The Beyond from 1981. It is an alleged sequel to City of the Living Dead. Yes, allegedly. We have a we have a lot of alleged work here. A young woman inherits an old hotel in Louisiana, mm-hmm. though probably yeah, somewhere in Italy yeah. or Germany, where following a series of supernatural accidents she learns that the building was built over one of the entrances to hell that's uh that's the usual premise for uh demon demonic possessions and things like that uh, yeah Christ. hell was opening last uh, last uh, in the city of the living dead as well yeah there you go i mean he loves he loves his hell uh he loves to raise hell he, he, likes, he, he uh, loves uh, gore and zombies inside of his movies he loves putting maggots on things and filming it yeah would you call this a gore uh, a gore uh, a gore film I have, I have no idea. I have never seen this movie before. Hmm. It's it's shaping up like it's going to be just a lot of gore. Well, it's an Italian horror film. It's kind of to be expected. Yeah, I guess so. And uh, it's going to be a lot of like weird dead things and occultism. Really, the the, the most unpleasant thing is probably going to be the worms and maggots. Maybe. I don't know. It always, there's always worms and maggots. I can see some pretty creepy satanic shit coming, maybe. I like, can see an, an Eastern European man in a cloak. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna fucking. I can see an Eastern European man in a cloak, popping up in the screen and and yelling "Mega!" That would be a less interesting movie, but you know what? At no, least... no, it, it, Tim to just randomly pop up in horror films, like for ev- no, no, not even like all movies, like one in every one thousand copies of a DVD will have him randomly pop up in the movie. <laughs> all right. But at least we're going to get something that's just going to be, like, gore for gore's sake mm-hmm. and fun, fun little uh, pop-up scares, like, probably, like, spiders crawling out of eyeballs or something. Yeah, but also no jump scares. No jump scares. Or this very is pre-jump little jump scare. scare. This is very pre-jump scare. Well, it's not Holy pre-jump shit. scare. No, uh, but, like, dude, pre-jump scare craze? Like, you're not going to... Halloween like... in 1979. Ha- I think it's Texas like gore, Chainsaw but... Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 74 had a jump scare. Okay, so far right now I'm expecting a gore uh, a gore film, but I'm not expecting mm. fucking Saw. Like good saw because I'm expecting something movie. interesting, not Saw yeah. and not Saw era. Saw's terrible. But, yeah. So uh, yeah, let's watch the Beyond. Yeah, interested. Six point eight on IMDb. We should be, should be in for a treat. Intriguing. <laughs> You are Liza, aren't you? Yes. My name is Emily. I've been looking for you. Go back to where you came from and hurry. Leave this place. Sixty years ago, everybody in this hotel disappeared. Every last person. A painter called Spike, who lived here, closeted in his room, had found a key. Excellent. You think you'll um, give it up now? I couldn't do that if I wanted to. 
Well, I won't give in. Nobody here. I can feel a presence. Somebody else is in here. Oh, some weird story that Emily told me about room 36. Emily? Who's Emily? The blind girl that lives in the old house by the crossroads. was constructed on one of the... Woe be unto him who opens one of the seven gateways to hell, because through that gateway evil will invade the world. I don't believe in ghosts. Nobody does. But you don't have to. Because be there are no ghosts in this, in this movie. Much like Dark Souls fucking 2, there are no ghosts in this film. <laughs> Just dead dead people coming back to life as zombies. And fucking motioned cor like like animated corpses and shitty fucking special effects for spiders and mm. dogs biting people's necks and a bunch of other bullshit. <laughs> Oh, this was this was this was weird. It was it was just the kind of like fucking gore film I was thinking it was gonna be, except like a lot more cheesy and like it had a couple of good effects, but like it wasn't they weren't they weren't the best. Like Dario's done better. He's done better better than he's done better than this. Yeah. Plus the story was just like nonsense. It's just like literal, just like, oh hey, there's a fucking door to hell in the bottom of this hotel go, go there mm. i guess we're going there at some point so we start in 27 in 1927 in louisiana we're on the bayou where, a where some lynch guy, mob a lynch mob goes and on, on can, and, cr and beats a guy up with chains because he he's worshiping the devil and made a door to hell yeah and so really a girl looking through the manual of e-bombs world so really <laughs> The um the guys beating him with chains yeah. are in the right here. They are. Because he opened a door to fucking hell. <laughs> Unless it wasn't actually him and it was the girl yeah. with the book who did that. And they were just beating his ass because they thought that he was True. the one like Maybe. doing it. It's 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 very ambiguous. But like she's fucking this girl is like reading from a fucking the book of Ebon. so after they beat him with chains they go a little overboard and crucify him that's a little overboard that's a little overboard and because lucio fulci has a thing i think they pop out his eyeballs uh no they didn't they just no. they they no they 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 fucking they crucified him after beating him yeah. and then they melted his face with acid right that's what they did right. because everybody's face in this goddamn movie Burns from acid. And then we're in 81 where some woman's inherited the hotel. Yeah, and it's the 70s where somebody actually yeah. dying from acid would work. <laughs> and um, the basement's flooded even though the water doesn't work. Yeah. Some guy sees the lady with blank eyes who's working on when he's working on the scaffold. He falls off and just fucking dies. Yeah, just like gets scared out of his wits to the point of like falling and... He should have just been dead on the spot, but, like, apparently he was still alive to the point that some dude, John, mm. would just, like, grabbed him up and was like, hey, I'm going to take him to the hospital. He shouldn't have been dead. He fell from the second story onto grass. He should be injured. No, he was bleeding from his fucking... And he was it's stupid. bleeding from his mouth. And it's stupid that he was. And he could have broken his back. Yeah, but it would have killed him. Yeah, but like he fucking, shouldn't be he dead. Would have been spazzing out, and like honestly, I feel like a, a fall like that after like a ghost yeah. sighting, it's either you're gonna live 
and you're gonna be able to be like there's a ghost over there and it scared the shit out of me or you're gonna be just like a babbling like nonsensical vegetable with mm-hmm. your back broken a la Bane. <laughs> Bane. Bane. He saw Bane. And he just snapped his neck at the top of the fucking scaffolding and threw him off. Only you. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> Break your body and your mind. <laughs> when this hotel is in ashes, you have my permission to die. And so will the rest of the world. Only when you go to hell, the entire world will have my permission to die. So the That's they call the a they world. call a plumber. Yeah, this guy they called Joe. Joe, and he goes into the basement. I trust Joe the plumber. <laughs> he goes into the basement and he walk he walks around Blight Town a bit. <laughs> the basement is fucking shrine of a bottom, bro. Because there, there's some thin wooden debris bridges, and it's just flooded. Oh, good God, yeah. And he whacks a wall with a hammer, looks in, and then a zombie grips his eyeballs out. Well, like, doesn't, like, it, yeah, like, grab his face. Yeah. Zombie grab your face. Yep. Zombie grab and your face. And rip your eyeballs out. Like, zombie pokes grab, his index. No, zombie grab your face. Into your, into zombie your face. kick your ass. Zombie cri- cri- kick your balls into outer space. I was going to say zombie shoot your eyeballs into outer space, but okay. But no. that works too. It, like, gouges his eyeball out with its index finger. It's really gross. that's just Lucio Fulci's thing. Is Two it, eyeballs get gouged at the very least in this film. Like three? Yeah, I, I'm saying two. It's at his the least. thing. It's his thing is eyeballs. Yeah. He loves fucking with eyeballs. Yeah, because uh, that's his uh, that's his way of getting even with the with yeah. the critics. There's an a eye for an eye. <laughs> There's a Dr. John McClane. Yeah. He, it, well, his name isn't actually John McClane. It's like John McKay M- John or McBain. John John McMurray or He's whatever. McBain. McBain. Damn it, McBain! Damn it, McBain! (laughs) He's a loose cannon cop. He's not actually a cop. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. So they do the... uh, the Which is ironic, because he gets someone killed before the end of the movie. (laughs) He gets someone fucking killed before the end. So they find another, like, really rotted corpse in the basement. Oh, yeah, and he was also the guy that, like, fucking wanted to rush into the hospital. And uh, amazingly... You know what's amazing? They found an old corpse in the basement, and someone got his eyes ripped out and was murdered in the basement. But at no point is this hotel cordoned off as a fucking crime scene. Yeah, no tape. What the fuck? No tape for this. Uh, no oh, tape needed. No boards. Eliza drives out on the road. Not a single officer. Does a fucking police officer Never. even show up? Never. 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 Has Has Lucio Fulci heard of the police? Has he heard of them? Has he listened to Message in a Bottle before? <laughs> I'm so fucking confused by this. But anyways, let's fucking let's continue. Because like, you here. can't even say like call accident like the guy who fell off the the scaffolding because this guy had his eyes ripped out. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> right into his fucking face. <laughs> Just fucking gouged out. And then the fucking... They bring him to the morgue. Like, he ends up getting fucking shipped straight to the morgue. Because, yeah. well, he's fucking dead. And uh, the, the the owner of the hotel, lady, whatever... Yeah, she's, she's driving and almost daughter. hits a blind... No, not her. Uh, yeah, another lady almost hits a, the blind girl with uh Yeah, with the, the dog. owner of the hotel almost hits a blind lady with a yeah. dog. And then she's like, don't go into room 36. It's bad. Yeah. Also, my name is Emily... Uh, this is my dog. You might as well be called Muffin, fucking Muffins. He's dog mate. Yeah. His name was actually Doug. Is it? Screaming like, yeah, like, oh, okay. be, uh, later, like, she was screaming out the dog's name, but uh. it was Doug. Fucking Doug Walker. Do, 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 it's do, Doug Walker, do, do, guys. Do, do, do. <laughs> Special guest cameo, Doug Walker! <laughs> no, Ladies and no, gentlemen. Geo, this is a dog. It's Doug Walkies. Doug Walkies? Yeah. Come on, Come on, Dougie! Dougie Jones! <laughs> Dougie Jones. <laughs> oh, and if you're listening to this, what? who's a good boy, Ozzy? No, oh, my bubba. <laughs> my big my big bubba boo. He's a tiny bubba boo. He's a cutie. He's getting bigger, yeah. honestly. He was, okay, he was way smaller when we first got him. Yeah. And he was a pup pup. Yeah, but he's a chihuahua. So. Yeah, I mean, he grew up a little bit, though. He's, he's not going to get that big. Yeah, he's not. But like, still, he's a lot bigger than he was. Sure. He's my big boy. My big boy. He's my bubba. Anyways, uh, 
she they fucking they go to the morgue uh fucking like uh some some girl and her daughter uh she gets her fucking face melted but, after well this before this happens puts joe in a suit she, uh cap um eliza's going on a basically a date with doctor man oh yeah they're at like a jazz and club. she randomly decides to put on a fucking Blanche Dubois accent, which she doesn't have at any other point in the movie. Yeah, the acting's real bad in this. So for no reason, she's just talking like this. It's like, okay, so are you going for an accent or not? I'd rather watch this movie in another language. Yeah, well, other than English. The German trailer we watched made it work really well. Like, I would watch this just straight Italian, because of course it's Dario. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, no, Lucio Fulci. Lucio Fulci, yeah. I get Dario. The and other Lucci one. Well, up. they're. They're part of the same. They're they're pretty much the trilogy. Is yeah. da, they're the trinity for Italian horror is um, Dario Argento, Pucci, and Lamberto Bava. Lamberto, yeah, I forget. Even about though pretty Lamberto much Bava. everything, most of what you think Dario Argento made, Lamberto Bava actually made. Yeah, because like he just slots his name on shit. You fucking hack. Uh, my favorite thing though, I think that Lucio Fulci ever did. Yeah. Was localize and release the Italian language dub of Dawn of the Dead mm-hmm. and claim to be the one who wrote and directed it. Yeah, it's fucking nonsense. It's bullshit. He's just bullshits people. So that's a lie, though. Like, yeah, this is how you used to be able to fucking kind of get ahead. In just Lucio Fulci is just, I made Dawn of the you. Dead, and then the cat comes out just lying. Yeah, exactly. Fucking walking around with lying cat. Just like Lion Cat would be like his like fucking kryptonite. Mm. You took that to Fulci. I think that Lion Cat should be at every Peter Molyneux speech. Oh yeah, definitely. I think that might kill Lion Cat. If you kill a boy, he would grow up. No, if you kill a man's uh, kill a man's father, the boy would grow up and come after you. Lion. <laughs> I love it, man. He's so good. <laughs> He's fucking funny, man. <laughs> You'll be able to plant an acorn and watch a tree grow. <laughs> That's my favorite. Lying. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy it for fuck. I'm gonna buy Fable to fucking plant trees and watch them grow. That's I love I love Fable, but I love it for what it is. <laughs> fuck yeah, boy! A you. hack and slash with a sprinkling of RPG nonsense. This is there. what we want to see. Oh. But, um, so yeah, the we're at the morgue and then fucking lady's face melts off after she fucking puts Joe in. A yeah, suit. she 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 looks at the corpse, like she puts the Joe in his suit with the rosary, and just now notices the rotten corpse, even though she's been in the room with it for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, and then when and her it's da- not covered with a cloth. Yeah, and then when her daughter and then comes she in screams, and sees her mom fucking so, melting. But this is the, she screams so loudly that the open. Bottle of fucking acid that was apparently on the top shelf for anybody that walks by to be fucking melted by, but whatever. Falls, just pours on her face and melts her brain out. Because they're just open. And it's. it's uncorked fucking. That would. Acid, like fucking. Like a. What is it? Fucking corrosive acid. Yeah, it's like chromium. It's probably hydrochloric acid. It's fucking nonsense. That wouldn't fucking... Why is it even there? It wouldn't be just open on a fucking shelf. It would be closed in a cabinet in controlled substances. Yeah. For the fucking mortician to come in and be like, okay, yeah, I need also, this. Also, why would the mortician ever need acid? I don't know. There is some, some offensive tattoos that the family doesn't want uh, to be viewed on, uh, on the open casket. You know? During open caskets. Yeah, but would acid be the solution to that? Or if there's, like, I don't know, a piece of wood or something that fucking can't be, like, ungemmed from a guy? Okay, maybe, but... Like, just melt it out, I guess? Or you could just saw that piece of wood. No, no but, like, there's there's things maybe that might be caught in somebody's skin that you can't otherwise take out, so you just have to, like, Don't you melt. put the person in a suit anyway? Mm, yeah, but, like, still, there's... Okay, there's reasons for... I can I can... Think of reasons why someone would need a, a yes, but corrosive acid to melt. Something yeah, but here's off the problem: body. a or drop of this seems to make people off. into fucking foam immediately. Yeah, and it doesn't do anything to not people. <laughs> it foams out their blood, and it doesn't do anything to things that aren't people. So yeah. what's the point? Well, 
It can melt. It can melt other stuff. I'm sure. So yeah, the the the, the green the the it red melted her shoes or something. The red so pudding. The red out. the red strawberry daiquiri is chasing her. It's chasing the fucking Wendy's mascot. Yeah, Anna Green Gables there. Yeah, fucking. Her name is Jill. Yeah. And I was like, that's Sherry Birkin. <laughs> there's <laughs> not Jill Valentine. There's no Jill Valentine in this movie. But they were calling her Jill. That's because that's a name. Yeah, but if it, if we're if we're going by Resident Evil logic here, she would be Sherry Booker and not Jill Valentine. Okay, and it also wouldn't be Hell. It would be a, in the basement. It would be a fucking be, secret umbrella lab. <laughs> it'd be Mister X popping out the wall and gripping your fucking head to the point it pops like a grapefruit. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> well, play Resident Evil too then. Well, no, I'd like to see a um a good. Like, scary Resident Evil movie. Well, yeah, everybody wants an actually legit scary Resident Evil film. And, in all honesty... We're never going to get one, because Mila Jovovich ruined it for us. Mm, I don't know. Well, it's more Wes Anderson ruined it for us. That's prime real estate for a fucking reboot. Like, that is prime Mm. real estate. Just start from scratch. We've seen all the bullshit that fucking Alice has to do. Enough is enough. Moving on. And if you want to invent, if you don't want to do have any of the main characters be the main character, that's fine. Just don't make the main character a psychic god, because then it's not scary. Don't make the character super OP. It's survival horror. Ideally, a Frank West would be ideal. The main, the main bad guy of fucking Resident Evil, Wesker himself, yeah, is a superhuman OP god fucker. Yeah. The protag should be somebody that is the opposite of that, but can still fight back against I'd him. say even Chris Redfield punching boulders is too much. It was! It was! It was campy and over the top. Like, like that's that why, stupid fun. when they made their first attempt at Resident Evil 4, and Leon was doing air juggles and fucking vert- straight up vertical jumps, and all these fucking sword combos, <laughs> they said maybe that shouldn't be Resident Evil. It wasn't with uh, it wasn't with Leon that they created Devil May Cry with. It was uh, it was um, fucking what was it? Uh, Hunk. They had Hunk basically sense. juggling people with a fucking knife, like with stupid knife combos and gunshots. That and sounds shit. amazing. They were making a, a standalone Hunk game. I, I, I like a, like my brain goes to that. I'm pretty sure that's what they were trying to do when they sounds pretty Devil fun. Cry. But yeah, it would have been it would have been fucking <laughs> funny as hell to see fucking Hunk just doing air combos and shit. I think there's still videos of that somewhere. I think somebody like screen captured Hunk just literally blasting people in the air when they were trying to make that. <laughs> but yeah, that's how Devil May Cry came to be. Yep. And but even they they realized that was too much for uh for for Resident Evil. Yeah. And once the mother dies and the daughter, like, finally gets They're to... They're at a funeral fucking... and okay. she has no eyes. Okay, the daughter gets to the, the the freezing closet of the moor. And there's a zombie. And there's a zombie that jumps out at her. And then we just immediately cut to the next scene, which is the funeral for the mom. Mm. It's like, okay, she's sobbing her fucking eyes out because of what happened to her mom. Yes. But she can't be normal, right? Right. And then she fucking opens her eyes after, like, during the funeral or something, and, like, she she has the same blank eyes as uh, Emily has. It's like, so, wait, is Emily evil then, too? Yeah. Like, evil, like, she, just anybody with blank eyes has the fucking... Yeah, definitely. Has the, blank, has, the, uh, has the evil? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes sense, then. But, like, I don't know. Emily, I, Emily, I feel, was, like, one of the better ones in the film. Mm. Like, she didn't do anything, like, straight up, like, evil, I wouldn't say. Like uh, one reason why one reason why she would be like a villain, because she got possessed by hell. Yeah, but then again, fucking like Wendy's girl was, like Jill was, but then again, she's not like, like Jill. Jill, I would say, was even more evil because like she lured in uh, what's her name, Eliza. Yeah. Into like trying to take care of her and stuff when she was on the run with John. So it's like, if anything, I feel like she's. A bigger like evil influence than than Emily was because Emily was like evil well telling, Emily's the... telling the dead that like telling the dead off screaming that she won't yeah but she said I did what you told me to and clearly she had something to do with opening the portal yeah but I feel like she was existent from like second one I I don't know I don't know where exactly this film begins and ends mm-hmm. 
Like, if it actually did all start because of, like, 1927? Though, one interesting thing before we get back to the actual important plot... Yeah. ...is, um... There are things carved around the around the hotel, and including on the really old zombie, mm-hmm. which looks very similar to the alchemical symbol for lead, which has the meaning of both death and transformation. Yeah, but death it's that but reserved. Far, but like, yeah, it, like the, it's just all over the fucking place. Yeah, and I'm like, what the hell significance does this have with fucking anything? It's related to hell. Yeah, but like, why is it because of the fucking the death thing? Or is I think the... they should have just gone with the alchem- alchemical symbol for sulfur, which is what what in the philosophy text they use as a shorthand for hell. Hmm. Okay. It's um. Yeah, that would have worked. It, it's the infinity sign with a line going up with two crosses across it. Yeah, I've seen that before. It's yeah. uh, I think it's also on like the hymn albums and stuff too. Like uh, Probably. hymn uses it a lot. I think. It, it, it's an easy shorthand for. Uh, Bands that want to pretend they're really, really dark and edgy. <laughs> well, like, yeah. Him, it, 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 him it's, is pretty edgy, bro. Him is pretty edgy. Yes, but we're we're approaching it from different from different uh, angles. Yeah. I view edgy as a negative adjective, and you view edgy, edgy as a positive adjective. Well, uh, I don't entirely think it's it's positive. It's got its good connotations and it's got its bad connotations. It's like it's like everything, man. It's got good and bad and everything. Onision is the ne- is the epitome of negative entity. Garen fucking teed. <laughs> negative entity of edgy. I want to see him fight Chris Chan. <laughs> I would pay money. <laughs> I would buy fucking front row tickets. <laughs> oh man, that's a boxing match, bro. That's a boxing match and a half. Onisio would probably be like, yeah, sure, I'll hit this girl guy. I don't care. <laughs> Either that or a rap battle. Can you imagine a rap battle between the two of them? Chris well, Chan, P.F. and the rapper. I've rap heard Chris bullshit. Chan rap, so I don't yeah. want that. And fucking P.F. and the rapping. And Onisio trying to come up with clever things to rap about. <laughs> <laughs> well, he comes off with his white boy flow. <laughs> be the best. Oh, this little onion lad rapping. Ooh, I really want to see the actual knee. fight fight. Because I want to see Chris Chan throw a Kersie Hameha. Yes, that would be his opening move. Kersie Hameha. Oh yeah, can we talk about this shitty phone? And the number 36. Oh, pop, it's, not, pop, it's pop, not a phone. It I, yeah, it's a ringing bell. It's it annoying. rings really fucking loud. Oh, remember when they're in the hospital and the guy was dragging the gurney with the really rusty... Oh, God, yes. Yeah, I, I was like, stop. Just for two minutes and it hurt. <laughs> yeah, there was like several moments where like I would have fucking... Yeah, like, they, they have the funeral. to tear my fucking ears out. Uh, some and guys in, looking for um like the blueprints earring. of the... Uh, Blueprints of the hotel. Yeah. And we get one of the more unpleasant scenes in the movie mm. where he gets just covered in spiders. Oh yeah, he gets fucking eaten by pin weevils. But they don't know how to but they don't know how spiders eat. <laughs> or move for that matter. Because spiders don't eat by like ripping pieces off you like yeah, they're they a don't. dog. They literally inject the venom. They melt your insides, then drink it. Exactly, like a milkshake. They drink your milkshake. They drink they drink it, they up, drink it up. They don't rip pieces off you. Yeah. Like, fucking goddamn it. Uh, nobody nobody knows anything about spiders here. Seriously? Nobody working at this fucking... Nobody There's working also, on this movie um, knows about spiders. Uh, Martha, after everyone else seems to be dead in the hotel, goes into the one of the rooms, into room 36, and Joe show, comes out of the... She unclogs the bathtub and Joe pops out. Yeah, it was one and of the And instead of bolting parts. for the door, she backs to the back of the room, and then he smashes her head into the hook, which obviously... Well, it wasn't a hook, it was a, it was a spike. Yeah. It was like well, a spike on the wall. But it was rounded at the end, it's to hang, hang something. Like yeah, so. it was like a coat hanger or something, and she gets like her head slammed on it, and her eye pops, pops out. Pops out because Lucio Fulci. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was like the, the second eye gouge. It's, I, yeah. Yeah. There was, I think, one other one, but I was like, yeah, that, that one was fucking, that one was gross. And, and like, then yeah, all yeah. the all the zombies show up in Eliza's in Emma's house. That was honestly one of the better effects in the. And her dog eats. Best. And her dog eats her. The, not the not the dog, but the eyeball. Yeah. Uh, the the spike eyeball. 
was probably the better effect. Well, it's it's he's been doing that since the seventies. He knows how to do eyeball. Pops. Yeah, it looked the best. That one, like honestly, was like up the, there because he's he's sticking to what he knows. The worst, I don't mean worst. Good. The worst that he did of that, I don't mean worst in terms of quality. I mean worst in terms of uh, is the one in Zombie Two mm-hmm. where there's a splinter of wood. And a zombie pulls a woman's head. Oh yeah, I remember that and one. It, and you see the, her head on But it. slowly, because you see yeah. the cornea pop out and everything. Yeah, that was fucked up. That's the roughest. Yeah, that one was really gross. So, that one that one's probably, yeah, the best the best one like of them, but like still this one's this one's pretty good. This one's cool. Though so, it, it's a problem with the first Lucio Fulci film you've seen is um Zombie Two. Yeah. Because it is very difficult to top a shark and a zombie fighting underwater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's 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 gonna be a hard one. Yeah, there's there's no uh, there's no match for that. But uh, we <laughs> this movie could have been benefited with sharks though, because in that fucking basement yeah. in fucking Shrine of Amana, there's just all the blood in the fucking water. A lot of bullshit. I was like, if a Sharknado came through here, yeah. you know, they would just be in fucking, they would be on cloud nine. <laughs> they would be in fucking seventh heaven. There's a lot of bullshit that happens. Yeah. And character stuff that's not interesting because the characters aren't interesting. Yeah. About, oh, but I saw the thing. Yeah, but that thing's not real though. So mm-hmm. we did see it. Then they're in the hospital. They go through the basement, the hotel basement end up in the hospital, and it's just infested with zombies. Yeah, but there was nobody on the way there. There's nobody on the way really there. Weird. There was no power. Yeah. And it was full of zombies. And then progresses one of... Which is, wh- like, where we're thinking, like, yeah, they're probably crossing the hell about there. Yeah, it's just, like, it's... Yeah. Because they're the only ones. Yeah. They're only ones left. Like, even when they find uh, Wendy. Well, they're not the Wendy's only one. Girl. There's also the Doctor. Jill. Yeah, is there, yeah, that doctor though he fucking eats it immediately. And then there's a there's a really it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie just because all of the zombies and moving proper slowly. Yeah, it's really and with very good music. Yeah, they're basically like fucking they would be cultists in any yeah. other setting, but like in this they just so happen. I was actually expecting this to be like more of an occulty yeah. drama, but it's like no 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 occulty and no drama basically, just straight gore. This is just a perfect zombie. It's a good zombie movie. Yeah. Except the pro- my problem happens where the doctor has a gun, cool, and he shoots a he shoots a zombie in the brain immediately, <laughs> and then proceeds and then for- to pop them in the fucking chest. And then he does that, and then he realizes again that shooting them in the head works, and then he goes back to shooting them in the chest. He gets like a grand total of maybe like ten headshots yeah. out of like like thirty bullets fired. It's like, his hit ratio is just the worst. But he knows that it's headshots, but he keeps going for heart shots and body shots. It's annoying. Yeah, to the point where one literally comes out, like, directly in front of him. Yeah. And it's a fucking charred zombie fucker. Yeah, it's, it's the old one. Yeah, it's the fucking, the first one, basically. Yeah. And he he clips it, like, in the chest once. Bang. Uh, in fuck, the let's chest. try again. No, he shoots three times in the chest, once in the shoulder... Once in the side, once in the leg, and never once tries to shoot, and then runs out of bullets. <laughs> yeah, he shoots 20 bullets in his six-shooter at this fucking zombie and hits it in everywhere but the head. <laughs> and then he's high- He uh, fired it, like, twice through the same hole, even, in yeah. the center of its fucking chest. And I'm just like, motherfucker! You if you actually the- hit it in the head, you just, you you lose points. You deduction. have seen- At this point. Headshots working on these things. Yeah. Why are you not headshotting? Like he's fucking standing right there. He's literally fucking <coughs> There's also a moment where he accidentally, where he fuck, he rolls a crit, crit fail, and kills one of his party members. Oh, oh yeah, but like because he finds Mustache Doctor in one of the rooms. Yeah, and Mustache Doctor has a cleaver. Him dying is like the funniest part. But I want to just talk about this fucking headshot though. If he would have been able to hit this fucking old zombie in yeah. the fucking head, and it would have still been up. It would have been like, oh well, damn. Like, guess I guess these zombies can't all that, be killed with that. That would have been effective. That would have been interesting. One shot in the head, no? and he still keeps going. Okay, shit. That's a power. That's a big boss zombie. <laughs> it's fucking. It's Nito, the Lord of the Dead. I'm gonna fucking run the other way, guys. <laughs> I, Nito's other title makes him seem like a loser. Grave Lord Nito. No, the first of the dead. 
Oh, the first. Oh, you're the first person to die. You must fucking suck. <laughs> well, it's 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 the it's debated whether like yeah. he's even the third of pygmy or something, which is he's like, not the third of pygmy. He could have he could possibly have been the third of pygmy, but then again, the uh, the primordial dark, the, the yeah. big dark fucker, is more than likely the third. Well, of it's because the the opening it mentions directly Sith the Scaleless, yeah, Gwyn, Lord of Light, Gwyn, the Gwyn, Gwyn, the Witch of Isolith. Yeah, Grave Lord Nito and the Furtive Pygmy. Uh, yeah, so they can't they can't be the same. Yeah, uh, unless you know shenanigans and stuff. Because remember, Ty is convoluted in Lordrad, mm. so like, of course, it's possible. And then the screaming snake dick comes out of the ground. <laughs> Are you talking about Fran? Yeah. <laughs> Jones and I'm dead. <laughs> I will eat the bullshit you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> Which in Dark Souls two, they got rid of like. Almost any ability to sell things, you can only sell things to one NPC. And if he dies, he dies. No, if he dies, you can still sell stuff to oh, him. Oh, okay. But you have to pay to sell stuff to him. Wow, that's rough. Well, because he's dead. You're talking to his gravestone. Yeah. And so it's like you have to pay souls to talk to his gravestone. But he's the only fucker that, sell, uh, that you can sell things to, and he moves. So, like, once you're done in one area, you have to, like, go through five more areas mm-hmm. before you get to talk to him again. And then once you actually go through the next area where you see him, he moves again after you talk to him. And in the third location, he stays there. Oh, my God. Like, once he gets to that third location, he stays. So they, um... But, like, you fucking have to go through fucking, like, ten areas before seeing him. So, for some reason... So shit. Dr. John shoots the, a window. Yeah. And the gla- all the glass flies in the mustache doctor's face and kills him. Oh, yeah. It's just the dumbest. It, like the fucking, that's all the doctor's fault. Um, at, Jill is, Bang. Jill is Class evil. <laughs> Jill turns out to be evil. They they run away and like they're surrounded by zombies. They end up in the hotel basement yeah. again, and just John and, doesn't even apologize for that kill though. No. That's what and I just he just that out there. he doesn't seem to care. Yeah, he just doesn't give a fuck. He's and just he like, had, oh, oh, he's dead. And then they end up in hell. <laughs> yeah, where just, does he fucking belong? It's a desert full of corpses. Yeah. And then the movies, belongs. and then they just fade away. Their eyes are white, yeah. and the movie's over. It's essentially like what I would imagine the Sunless Lands looking like in mm. in like film, in like a film interpretation. Yeah, but that would be a very very bad Sunless Lands. I mean, yeah, I know it's boring, but like it's no, I don't mean bo- I don't mean boring. I mean like there's a little bit of light in the sky, but the de- clouds, the Sunless Lands. There's no sun, from what I understand. It's just death. It's not hell. It's just the land of the dead. Yeah. So that's, it, that's what it's supposed to be. So it should be neutral, not this evil looking, right? Mm, not entirely, because like the Sunless Lands is just like literally okay. It's a cloudy lands mm. where everybody walks, and uh, like the, the souls just walk endlessly until they get to. It's like their purgatory. It's like purgatory. Okay. It's like you're either gonna eventually get sent to heaven or eventually get sent to hell. But while being judged, you are walking through the Sunless Lands. It's like you you walk until your time has been served and you get yeah. But I have a feeling that purgatory wouldn't be in this. You're just down. It's immediately you're in hell. But I have a feeling that purgatory would not be fucking paved with rotting corpses. Uh, Yeah, because it's not purgatory. It's fucking hell. But that's what I mean. But it looks like the summer plans. But I'm saying it doesn't because it's paved in rotting corpses. It wouldn't look exactly like it, but Mm. like I would imagine a lot more rocky and like. Like, deserty. So, like it is, just without the corpses. There would be corpses maybe somewhere. Like, a couple of places. Yeah, but, but like they would be. Many. Yeah, there would be, like... Be How does someone die like, in the land of the dead? In Limbo? Yeah. Well, like, in... Okay, in Limbo, people could be dying forever. You would yeah. have, like, people basically going through, like, uh, fucking Promethean tortures. Would that, that be, be hell? If you're being tortured, would you be in hell, then? Depending on what you did. I could uh, I could see some very like iffy like one way or the other way kind of like nonpartisan sort of tortures it's like being tortured for like basically being impartial I could see it it could work mm. fucking but then you're just then purgatory weird, like extra but then purgatory is just another hell in that case it it kind of is to some people like limbo is the real hell. Didn't... Didn't the guy with the silly hat declare purgatory not a thing anymore? 
the Pope? Yeah, one of the Popes declared it not a thing. <laughs> yeah, I think one of them did, but, like, that doesn't make any fucking sense because, like, there's got to be some in between, right? But why? Why not? That's why. <laughs> Either you're a sinner or you're not a sinner. It's not really... Yeah, but where's the land of judgment, then? The pearly gates. Not... You just, you get to the fucking, you get to yeah, heaven. Yeah, St. Peter looks at your shit and says either yes or no. Unless we're the middle. Unless we are living currently on limbo, which okay. would make a lot of sense. Technically, according <laughs> to the Divine Comedy, we're in hell right now. Because hell is on earth? Well, no, because anywhere that's not, that's not heaven is According to this movie, hell is on earth. Because anywhere that's not technic, that's not in heaven is technically hell? Yeah. So so everywhere that's not heaven is hell, and yeah. whatever is is not hell is heaven. No, because heaven is heaven, and everything else is hell. Okay, so what about ooh, heaven, heaven is, is heaven on earth? No, but heaven is heaven because God is there. Being and far God from is God is what hell is. Okay, so God does not exist on earth. It can't. It can't possibly exist on earth. But what if God was one of us? <laughs> Just a stranger out of us. Yes. We're making too many music we're, references we're, here. I'm trying to Iraqi's make... listening. He's taking notes <laughs> on this entire conversation. <laughs> Iraq? Iraqi, uh, the guy that made JoJo. Oh. Yeah. But, um, fucking, uh, there's so many things that are just, like, up in the air about this movie. I'm just like, this story could have been a bit tightened up. A bit more tightened I up. I guarantee we're overthinking it. I don't know. This lady doesn't fucking believe in ghosts, though. No. The one that owns the fucking hotel. Which is great, because ghosts like, aren't even a factor. Yeah, she's like, if there's been anything I learned in my, like, 35 years or whatever, it's that, like, I don't believe in ghosts. It's like, seriously, why? Well, like, it doesn't matter really if you believe in ghosts or why you don't believe in ghosts. Because ghosts aren't the problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ghosts are not the problem. Much like in most of Dark Souls 2. Because, like, the entire half of Dark Souls 2 doesn't have any ghosts in it. And I was fucking complaining because they were able to just get fucking transient curses immediately. This has nothing to do with Dark Souls. It, it, it kind of does. It really doesn't. There's a lot of fucking zombies. A lot of Those undead. are hardly exclusive to Dark Souls. <laughs> There's a lot of undead. Stay a while and listen. But the uh, man, the fucking the dog also like just fucking straight up like Mike Tysoning that movie. Yeah, off. yeah, it was unpleasant. That was pretty weird. But it was an okay effect. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as the spiders. The fucking spiders were the worst. Yeah, but the because some of them were actual. Okay, I I can't imagine. Yeah. Like, stunt people will put up with a lot, mm -hmm. but I don't think it can be, hey, I'm going to cover you in tarantulas. <laughs> I, I don't, very few stunt people would would subject to, would willingly subject well, themselves to that. if you're a stunt man, like, you've, you've probably been through worse, and you can probably think of, like, more dangerous stunts to be going through. Yeah, it's not, but I'm, not in terms of I danger, okay just in terms of, fuck no. <laughs> I'd be okay with it. Yes, I'd be, because I'm not, I'm not scared of spiders. Neither am I, but I don't like things touching me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'd be, I'd be perfectly fine with it. I don't mind that. I'd have the same, I'd have the same approach to, to rats. Yeah. Or true. mice or squirrels. Mm -hmm. so, okay, squirrels though, I got a personal beef with those. I fucking hate squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, squirrels. Squirrels. Fuck them. They suck. I hate them. Little bastards. Little furry pricks. Yeah. Part of the problem is they're little furry pricks. Uh, they they end up going through like a lot of repetition also in this film because like not not only do we see like fucking Jill's eyes already in the funeral scene like but we see them later on when she gets found in the morgue also it's like just to remind you she's still fucking evil. Yeah, I didn't forget. FYI, fuck. What do you give this movie? I'm gonna give it. Six remove six eyes popping out of heads. Six popping eyes? Yeah. Six popping eyeballs? I'm gonna give it a, a very loud gurney being screeched across the fucking hospital floor out of uh forty pieces of glass hitting that one doctor in the face. Hmm. <laughs> and then a bunch of spiders jumping up to him and eating his eyeballs. <laughs> Uh, this movie was pretty fun. It was fun. I don't entirely recommend it, though. 
Because, like, it was just a, a, a gore exploitation film. But if that's what you're looking for, this does it well. Yeah, if you're if you're a, a weird, <laughs> uh, if you're a weird gore uh, gore lover. But I mean, generally, I I'd, I'd advise Zombie Two over this if you're looking for that. Yeah, there's other there's other Lucio Fulci movies that are better than this. And like, honestly, you could just take your pick of the litter. Because like this one, this one was just boring. Like, it doesn't have a lot going on, but, like, the gore makes it worth watching. Mm. But, like, if you're not a big fan of gore and, like, just want a story... Well, if you're not, not a big fan of gore, if you this don't... This is not the movie If you don't you. like gore, do not watch Italian horror movies, like, full stop. Well, no, not all of them are this bad. Most of them are pretty... Like, they're they're up there, but, like, not all of them get to this level. Right? Yeah, but if you, if you really don't like gore, any gore is... Though, oddly enough, you can watch Friday the 13th Part 5 with no problem, because it has no fucking gore for some reason. Yeah. There was, uh, there was some issues during those days. Yeah. This, uh, this movie's trailer, apparently, in Germany had, like, the fucking ending. And yeah, everything. and the crucifixion. And the crucifixion scene straight up in the trailer. I was like, okay, then. And the acid face. Yeah, like, everything's just shoved it right in here. Germany doesn't give a shit about gore. Was it Nazis? No. Then fuck it. Show them. Fine. <laughs> Let it in the movie. <laughs> yeah. But, like, they're also, like, apparently talking a lot about, like, the, the special effects just being, like, push pushing those special effects for SummerSlam during that trailer. Well, of course. <laughs> because, like, Germany, right? Yeah. It's like, eat, eat, eat this, Germany. You're gonna like that. Uh, you guys like Bratwurst? You're not gonna be able to finish your Bratwurst after watching this one. <laughs> Lucio Fulci guarantees that. Anyways, uh, it was a pretty okay movie. Mm. Uh, you want any hints uh, as to what we're doing next? Um, well, I, w- uh, I will say we'll that the in the next coming months, we're actually going to be finishing uh, the Lucio Fulci trilogy. Yeah, we're going to get to the end. Yeah, of it's, we're going to get to that, to that, that eventually. But next movie, we have a trauma film about how much high school sucks. Uh, as if they, we needed any more <laughs> proof of that. <laughs> Yeah, everyone knows high school is the worst, man. <laughs> Hell it yeah. should be illegal to tell high school students that these are the best years of your life. The portal at the bottom of the hotel should have just led to the local high school where Wendy went. Mm. The the girl that like fucking looked like Wendy. What if you woke up? Got, yeah, and you you were b- back at your first day of high school and you have to do it all over again. I would. I would. Would do I know what I know now? Well, you know, you remember as much as you remember from any dr- waking up from any dream. Okay, so I literally am going in like, like blank. Yeah, like just blank, blank slate. Maybe occasionally a mild sense of deja vu. I uh, I feel like that was actually my high school then. <laughs> like you're describing most of it because like certain things, and I was just like, yeah, I could have seen that one coming. <laughs> I probably would have made the exact same fucking mistakes, probably. Yeah, I wouldn't be the same person. Or even worse, it's like being Dr. Manhattan. Yeah. You know, everything that's going to happen that you've done this before, but you cannot alter your choices. Yeah, so you just go about it the same. Fucking history is doomed to repeat itself. Mm. I would just eat Baconators all the time. It's like the worst... This movie, more than anything else, made me want a Baconator. It's like the worst dreams I've had. Where, um, I had my dream is I do everything I need to do that day. (laughs) And then I wake up. And none of it's done. I'm like, God damn it! I get dreams about fucking finding money all the time, and I'm just like, I wake up and I'm just like, no, I'm still as broke as I was. I once woke up oh. panicking because I haven't studied for the math test. And like, you wait, realize you have wait, no math I, have, I, I haven't had a math class for 10 years. Oh, man. What am I panicking about? <laughs> My greatest fear is is the, the, the meat markets closing down and me not being able to get a Wendy's bur- like Baconator anymore. Why are the meat markets closed down? Because... I don't know, fucking PETA guys. Yeah, but no one listens to them. Yeah. <laughs> to quote so, to quote Futurama, you're vegetarians. Who cares what you think? <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yep. Trauma time. Hopefully you'll get uh, hopefully you get more scared by the next movie. I somehow doubt that. This movie just had a bunch of fucking jump scares. My I guess my my wills and predictions. See you next time, guys. Later.